just a gorgeous day in February on the Palouse. It did not go the Cougs way. 67-55 Arizona State. Matt Muehlbach, J.B. Long, Bobby Hurley will have more memorable Pac-12 road wins, but Andre Spite helped to get him his first in a grueling contest. Well, they hadn't had one up until this one, and Spite comes off the bench, a guy that had really been struggling, and he hit that early little baseline inbounds play. It was a layup. You called it, J.B. He said maybe that'll get him going, and it did. And then they had another guy that really got going, who I think this guy's kind of an unsung hero for him, Obina Aleka has really played well in the Pac-12 conference season. Hit the big shot to give him momentum going into the halftime. And this is a team that's had no momentum. I mean, a team that just keeps losing close games. I was impressed with Bobby Hurley, how he got this team out. Back from an eight game absence, playing without Josh Hawkinson, they really needed, the Cougs did. Val Azundu, and he returned in mid-season form. He was in rhythm. You saw him defensively, I actually thought, Offensively, very impressive. Should have got him the ball a little more. And you can see when they have Josh Hawkinson and Izundu how effective that team can be. Matt, though, I think this win by Arizona State really makes next week's game against USC and UCLA far more intriguing. It, very intriguing. Two teams they almost beat on the road. If they could sweep, JB changes the entire season for this Sun Devil team. Four ASU players in double figures, led by Holder 16, Oleka and Spite 13 in a supporting effort. They go home to Wells Fargo Arena following their first conference road victory.